Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Velocity 2015 in New York City. I'm here with David Bollocker. David, how you doing? Doing really well. So you are a guy that works at IBM, and you work in pretty much like what I would consider a candy store. You're in the Emerging Technology Group, and you're putting together a really cool demo for Velocity. Can you kind of unpack all the things that you're going through to build this demo? Sure. So. It's an unusual demo in that there are so many moving pieces. Um, the key piece is that we have data, my data actually, because we're looking at my calendar, we're looking at my email, we're looking at uh, presentations that I actually created for the event, as well as we're looking at any other documents that I might have around. And we look, use analytics and look across them, and actually we can then go out and search for terms. Now, when I go out to search for terms, the way I've done this is we built this on top of a platform as a service, and ours is called Bluemix. Okay. We're calling services from Alchemy to get a bunch of things, news on all the terms, and then sentiment based on what we're seeing. And then we could actually call out to Twitter with yet another service um, that we have, and then find out the sentiment coming from Twitter. Then we could actually add some more, well, let's just say, spice to this discussion and say, we're going to drive the whole thing from voice. So then, as you go through voice, you say to yourself, well, where's the next step? Well, let's bring in a bunch of different devices, and let's see if we can control the devices from voice. So you're starting to see all of the things that are happening with us. So we have a bunch of calls to servers, not bad. So now you only have network latency problems. Then you actually add in voice. You have mic problems. You have audio system problems. Then you actually have the speech reco. Speech comes back as text. And then you basically use those terms to do other things with. And you're starting to see we have a multiplier effect of all these possible things that can go wrong. And tomorrow we'll see how well it works. So if you put all this together and you think about a practical solution that could be a, this could be applied to, Sentiment analysis, so you could say a big sporting event, you could have your drones hovering over where really nasty tweets are coming and where, <laughs> where, where the crowd, and you could have pictures taken of maybe that section of the nastiness happening. I mean, that's one a use absolutely. case. Absolutely. So the use case that we're using tomorrow is called start my day. Okay? I wake up. I'm woken up, I should say, and as I'm waking up, I basically ask, why are you waking me up so early? Okay, and we've just decided that the train system in New York is going to be late, so they, they're waking me up early. Well, when I wake up, well, what do I want to know? Being that, you know, um, you know, have a whole portfolio, Europe was open, the first thing I want to do is check my stocks. How are my stocks doing? Okay, I go out and I actually check stocks on the exchange, or which exchange. Uh, exchange. Then the next thing is I say, well, what exactly has happened since we last spoke? And then I'll actually search through all my documents, okay? And we're going to actually figure out which ones are from the period from last interaction with the system was. And then we'll actually move to the next step of saying, do you want to, more information about this? Or do you want to save this off? So you can actually save the conversations and either play them as podcasts or you can save it exactly where you were and then move on to the next step. And we actually are going to actually have three scenarios. One of them is going to be the beginning of my day. One of them is going to be the scenario about being a business person. I want to basically ask the system about how are my sales doing. And then the last one is the one that everyone's going to you know, have a cheer about, and that's actually flying drones through voice. Hmm. And then taking selfies, of course. Yeah, and well, so voice is really an integral part here, but probably even more important here is maybe the substrate. Is that Bluemix? So underneath everything is Bluemix. So we're using all the services, uh, maybe not all, probably half of the services on Bluemix right now, uh, especially the ones that um, have got to do from Watson with news, sentiment, right. call out to Twitter, um, as well as we're starting to use the IoT Foundation services because the drone is actually connected through Bluemix. So we actually have voice control of that if you want to think about it is we start off in voice, we do rec with, we call the reco engine. The reco engine then passes me a text. I then actually will interpret what it is, and then as we get down deeper and deeper in the system, I'll go out through the IoT services 
and then actually talk to the drone in the language that the folks in AR drone decided they wanted, which is not voice. <laughs> so we'll actually do all these um, permutations to get to the point where take off. So where do you see IBM and Bluemix going with this sort of technology, emerging technology with your partners? What is, what is the, I guess, industry use cases that you're, you're looking at most? So most of the use cases I'm do that we're looking at right now, okay, we're doing this for the conference, but the reality is it's all about the person. How do I get all the information about you that you're going to want to see in the morning or you're going to want to see sometime during the day? What's changed, okay, in your persona? Okay, is it your financial side? Is it your personal side? What's on my calendar? Should uh, I be uh, pinged by my phone, for example, when I'm about to miss a meeting that's very important? And these are the things that we're all trying to put all of these things together and shape it into one big parcel. And it's going to be an interesting experience because of we have analytics on one side, we have devices on the other, and the devices are more uh, akin to all your mobile devices because it could even be, for that matter, not only a, a mobile phone, but it could be an Amazon Echo. Which I have, yeah. You know, yeah. We yeah. both have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we actually use an Amazon Echo, or it could be an iPhone. We could use Siri as speech input. Um, it really doesn't matter to us. We just want to get the input. The flip side of everything you're going to see tomorrow is all about what interface do you want to use. Okay, one of the things in, in my mind is voice is actually replacing the command line typing. First of all, I can say things much faster. The computer can recognize them with decent accuracy. And then we get into what I'll call the secret sauce, which is uh, if you want to say drones, if you say drone, it may come out as drone in the machine, but it might come out as dreams. Yeah. Okay, well, they're utterances. Drums. Actually, that is exactly what, when I say drones, it thinks it's drums. So there are utterances you actually can code in that actually will make it. But as you put the whole piece together, it's all about you, the person, your data, company data, social data around you, and for that matter, the world data that you're interested in. And we can actually build that out and either verbally tell you, or you can actually see it on the screen. David, I can't wait to see this demo tomorrow, and also the version two of this in Amsterdam <laughs> in about a month, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Should be very good. Yep. Yeah, we'll Perfect. Look to it. Thank you.